This is Millie and she's going to make the skirt with you. Your kit will contain the fabric printed panel, paper instructions, threads, elastic and your invisible zip. You'll also need some fabric scissors, some pins, a hand sewing needle, a zipper foot for your machine and a clean piece of thin cotton like a handkerchief to use for ironing and a sewing machine and an iron too. Cool! Now we are ready to begin. Lightly iron your panel on a cotton setting to remove any creases. Put the thin piece of fabric over your panel as you iron. This makes sure the fabric doesn't go shiny. Lay the panel out flat and cut out your pattern pieces. Try not to cut inside the black solid line but just keep to the outside edge. If I'm at home I often spread out and do this on the floor. You will need to cut up the centre back of your skirt too and the centre back of your waistband. There. All done. Now to start putting your skirt together. Time to set up your sewing machine. So, you'll need to fill your bobbin first with your new thread. Then thread up your machine. It's a good idea to use a nice sharp needle. If you use a blunt needle it can sometimes pull the fabric thread slightly and leave a little white mark in your print. Using some of your cut-offs from the panel, do a stitch test first to check your tension and stitch length etc. Sewing two layers of fabric together, do a straight stitch and a zigzag. Great! We're ready to go. We're going to prepare the darts first. Take one of your skirt back pieces. You will see two triangle notches at the waistline and a printed circle about 12 centimeters down from here. Now with the printed sides facing together, fold the dart at the circle and align the notches. Pin the dart to just below the printed circle so the circle disappears into the dart. Then repeat this step on the other back skirt piece, folding the dart at the circle and aligning the notches. and pin to just below the printed circle. Now we are going to sew the dart. You want to sew from the notches down to just below the circle. When sewing a seam, start with a few back stitches to secure the ends. And do the same when you finish your seam. Now knot the threads and trim off the ends. Secure all your seams like this as it makes them really strong and sew your other dart too the same way. Now remove all the pins. There. Now Turn your work to the right side, to the printed side, and just double check that the printed circles aren't visible on the front. Iron the dart towards the centre back of the skirt. The centre back is the long straight edge. And repeat this on the other back skirt piece too. Millie is now going to sew the mitered corners at the skirt hem. Take the front skirt piece. You will see that in the middle of the diagonal edge along the hem there is a fold guideline. With the printed sides facing, fold along this line, aligning the edges perfectly. Pin the diagonal edge together. Repeat this step on your back right skirt piece. Now to sew the seams. All the seam allowances for this skirt are marked at one centimetre, except for the centre back, but we'll 
explain that later. Again, secure with a backward stitch at the beginning of your sewing and again at the end. Trim your thread ends and remove your pins. Clip the corner of your seam allowance, being careful not to cut the stitching. And then trim back the rest of the seam allowance to approximately 5 millimeters. Turn the corner out to the printed side and gently massage the seam so it goes to a point at the corner. Then you can open out the corner and press this seam flat. Repeat this on the back skirt piece too. Brilliant, it's looking good. Now to prepare the side split. Lay your front skirt piece and the back skirt piece that has the mitered corner together. Printed sides facing. Align the side edges with the split. The top of the side split is marked with a printed sideways V on the panel. This marks a high side split and you might want to make it less so. So hold the skirt up against you and pinch where you would like the top of your split to be. Lay the pieces back together and make sure your new top of split point is in line with the original printed V. Mark this point with a few stitches. You want to make sure that your stitches are at the tip of your printed V or in line with it. This is so the V will disappear into your seam allowance and not show on the outside of your skirt. You can have a look at your printed paper instructions for a clear diagram to show this. Now pin the seam together from waistline to the top of your V and tack. Now tacking is just a, a large running stitch. So you want to use your hand sewing needle and literally just sew from the V up to the waist. Now the seam allowance is one centimeter, so try and sew approximately one centimeter from the edge. There. So machine stitch along this tacking, securing each end of your seam. Then you can remove your tacking stitches. Press open the seam. And now we're ready to do the other side seam. So pin the other side seam with the printed sides facing. Make sure the edges and the notches are aligned. And pin from the waist all the way down to the bottom of the unfolded edge. And so. Remember you are sewing all the way down to the bottom cut edge of your skirt. Brilliant. And now you want to press this seam open too. This is a good time to neaten your seam allowances. You can do this by zigzagging the edges or overlocking them if you have an overlocker. Just zigzag along the outside cut edge and this will stop your fabric from fraying. So zigzag along all the side seam allowance edges, all around the hem edges and also up the centre back edges. We like to do this bit really fast. Trim off any loose ends. And this is how your skirt will look so far. It's really taking shape. Now onto the waistband. Take your waistband pattern pieces 
and machine zigzag or overlock along the edges, except for the top edges with the notches. We don't need to neaten these as they'll be trimmed back later. You can actually keep zigzagging across a few pattern pieces at a time, watch Millie. And then you can just snip the threads later to separate them. Lay out your waistband pieces like so. Lay your back waistband pieces on top of your front waistband, printed sides facing and matching the side seams. The easiest way to tell the difference between the side seams and the centre back seam is that the side seam is cut on a slight diagonal and the centre back is cut on a vertical. And then pin these side seams together and then sew the seams. Again, it's a one centimetre seam allowance. And then to the ironing board, and you want to press the seams open. Brilliant. Now to attach the waistband to your skirt. With the printed sides together, pin the top of your waistband to the top of the skirt. Line up the top edges and line up the side seams and the notches too. Matching the notches, make sure that your waistband is the correct way up. Then sew. Make sure your side seams are open as they pass under the machine sewing foot. So they are sewn down flat and not twisted. So remove your pins and trim back the seam allowance to approximately 5 millimetres. Now to press your waist seam. And also you want to press the seam allowance up into the waistband. There. Time to insert your invisible zip. But first we want to get the perfect fit for your skirt. So wrap the skirt around your hips with a centre back opening at the back and the waist seam level with your waist and pull the skirt together at the hip line so it's a nice snug fit. Check that you can still move around a bit though so it's not too tight. And now checking that your seam allowances are equal on both sides you're going to want to pin at your hip level and just at the hip level across your bottom and this pin is going to be your new seam allowance. Just checking that both sides are equal and then you want to carefully slip the skirt off and lay it flat. Okay so this is your new seam allowance. It's going to be the same from hip to waist down to the hem. And now to insert your zip. Now this is the most skilled part of the make, so if you haven't put in a zip before, follow closely. So, place the zip front side down at the centre back edge of the skirt. And the little plastic part at the top of the zip should line up with the seam that joins the waistband to the skirt and use a tape measure to ensure the zipper teeth are the desired seam allowance away from the edge. Pin the zip in place with pins pointing upwards and that makes them easier to take out when you're sewing and continue measuring your new seam allowance. Now you want to change your standard machine foot to an invisible zipper foot. 
Now notice there's two channels, one either side of the prong at the front of the foot. This channel is to allow the needle to get as close as possible to the zip, making it appear invisible from the outside. Now use your fingers to flatten the zip teeth and encouraging them into the channel. And sew the length of your zip, removing pins as you go. Sew as far to the bottom as you can before the zip head gets in the way. And be careful not to sew directly onto the teeth, as this will mean the zip won't close. Cut off your threads. And just check your zip so it's so far so good. Now for the other half you want to start with the zip closed so it doesn't become twisted and place it right side down onto the other centre back edge of the skirt as before. And carefully unzip and measure the seam allowance as you did before, making sure that the plastic bit at the top of the zip tape is level with your waist seam, and then pin the zip down. Now if at any point your zip does get caught, it's probably because you've just sewn over some of the teeth, so it's a good idea just to unpick those few stitches and redo there. You will now be working in the opposite channel of the zipper foot to the first side. And so exactly as you did before. Just taking your time and removing pins as you go. Carefully cut all threads away so they can get caught. And now test your zip. Perfect. Now with the skirt inside out you will now sew the rest of the centre back seam from the zip to the hem. So lift the tail end of the zip out of the way, just pinning it if needed, and pin the remaining seam down to the hem. Remembering you're going to have a new seam allowance, so you can either check by measuring or just line it up with your zip seam. So just double checking where your new centre back seam is. And you're ready to sew. Now change back to your standard zipper foot for this. And with the zip tape firmly out of the way so it doesn't get caught, you want to stitch from the zip all the way down to your hem, the very bottom edge of your skirt, following your new seam allowance. Great, so remove your pins and you can double check your zip again to make sure that it's moving freely. Trim off any loose threads and your skirt is so nearly done. Brilliant. Just give the zip a tiny little press and we're ready for the next step. 
Now to fit the waist perfectly too. Take your elastic and wrap it around your waist. Adjust the length until you are happy with the fit. I like to make it quite snug. There will be a tiny one centimetre gap in the elastic at the centre back where the zip is. So take this into account. And then cut off the extra elastic. Now, take one end of the elastic and pin it on the inside of your waistband, just above the waist seam and just inside the fold of the seam allowance at the centre back. Have a look at your paper instructions here for a clear diagram of this. Pin the other end of the elastic to the other end of the waistband in the same way. And take care that the elastic doesn't twist here when you do this. Sew the end of the elastic to the waistband with a couple of rows of zigzag stitch. Secure the ends with a back stitch and knot. And repeat this step at the other end. Remove the pins and trim off your threads. And now fold the centre back seam allowance over the elastic and then fold the waistband over at the waist seam to the inside of the skirt. The end of the zip tape can be neatly hidden in this fold. Pin the fold down, making sure the zip teeth are exposed. Working on the inside of your skirt, pull the waistband down over the elastic. Push the elastic up into the waist seam and pin down about 10 centimetres along the waistband, just below the elastic, being careful not to catch it. Great. Now sew the channel a little way along, just below the elastic. You will be able to feel where the elastic is by running your fingers over it when you sew. The elastic is shorter in length than the channel, so it will cause gathering and pulling. So this step should be done bit by bit, slowly and carefully. So stitch a little way, and then keeping the needle down, pull the elastic through slightly so it gathers up the stitching you have done, but allows you to keep the bit you are sewing completely flat. Don't sew on gathered fabric. And continue bit by bit. The tip here is to pull the waistband firmly to the inside of your skirt so the waist seam falls just ever so slightly to the inside and won't show from the front when it's finished. Easy does it slowly and carefully, sewing and then pulling the elastic gently through and sewing a bit more. When you are about 10 centimetres from the other end, you want to fold your centre back seam allowance over the zip and fold the waistband over at the waist seam, again catching the zip tape inside the fold and making sure the zip teeth are exposed and then sew along to the end. Now check that the elastic pulls freely and hasn't been caught by your stitching. If it has that's not a problem just undo that bit of stitching and redo. Brilliant! Now you want to edge stitch down the fold parallel to the zip. Do this from the inside so that you can see the folded edge clearly. And repeat this on the other side. Knot and trim thread ends. And again, just check that the zip moves freely up and down and hasn't been caught by your sewing. If it has, then just unpick the bit that has gone askew and redo. 
You are so nearly done now. Now we have reached the final stage in your skirt. Turn your skirt inside out and gently press the hem up using the fold markings and your mitered corners as a guide. Make sure your side seams are flat and open as you press. Great. Now, keeping the skirt flat, you want to tack the hem facing up. Tack approximately one centimetre from the edge. You want to use a contrast coloured thread to the print here, because when you turn the skirt to the printed side, this tacking is going to be your sewing guide. However, if your skirt design has a printed trim along the hem, then it's best to use this as your sewing guide. So keep tacking all the way round till you reach the end. And now turn your skirt to the printed side. You want to machine stitch your hem down along your tacking or along the printed trim. If you do have a printed trim, make sure that you use the cotton thread in your kit that is a matching colour. You basically want the hem stitching to be as invisible as possible. Now trim off any loose ends and remove your tacking threads and do give your skirt a final little press. Et voila, your jupe cigarette is finished. Looking good, Millie.